Today on Yester Kitchen, I am gonna show you a fabulous potato dish for your holiday table. And we're gonna celebrate one of America's famous inventors. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. <laughs> it's our Christmas series, I couldn't let you down. If you're new here, welcome. It would be an honor to have you join us as we explore retro history through food. Okay, so today we're gonna do an easy potato dish from a very unusual type of potato. It's called Potatoes Del Monaco and it's from 1959. So I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit because I know you wanna know what kind of potato we're using. So you know these guys, right? The potato patty, the chopped up frozen potato patty. Well, they definitely had them in 1959 and even sooner thanks to one Clarence Birdseye. He was the founder of the quick freezing method and without him, I don't know if we'd be having frozen food right now. So around 1922, Clarence was working way, way up in Canada, in the freezing Canada, as a biologist for the US government. And he would notice the people doing ice fishing, you know, where you cut a hole in the ice and you fish and out comes the fish. And he would notice that they would freeze them immediately. So what he discovered is when you freeze something immediately, when you thaw it out, it, it keeps its shape. If you wait a little while and then freeze it, that's when you get mush. So he started working with fish and other proteins and other vegetables and developed this process that I don't know what we would do without today. So these are definitely part of the game. So we are using potato patties. So I thought it only appropriate to give Clarence bird's eye a nod. Okay, so we have our oven on 450. This is gonna be a potatoey, cheesy, fabulous casserole that is gonna be perfect for your holiday table or really any time of the year. But I know everyone says, ooh, calories, so holiday time, now's the time to get them in. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take eight potato patties and you're gonna wanna thaw them just a little bit because it makes them easier for cutting. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take those eight potato patties and cut them in cute little bite-sized cubes. And we're just gonna put those aside for right now because we're gonna start to make our sauce. The base of our sauce is a roux, which is a fat and a flour mixed together, and that makes the sauce thick. So in a nice, pretty good sized saucepan, I am gonna put six tablespoons of butter, and that's our fat, and let's just give that a minute to melt. So our butter is beautifully melted, and to that we are gonna add, sprinkle it on, three tablespoons of flour, and we're also gonna add two and a half teaspoons of salt. It's a little more than usual, but this is the recipe and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then you're gonna take a whisk and just start combining these two. Sorry for the extra noise, just give me a second to get it combined. Okay. So here's our flour and our salt and our pepper. That's good. Now to that, we're gonna add two and a half cups of milk. You know it's retro and I like to use whole, but you can use any kind of milk you like. And we're just gonna get this in here and we're gonna stir it until we have a thick sauce. Let's get all that in there. This is gonna take about three or four minutes. My milk was a little colder than I thought, so it took a couple extra minutes, but take a look. Now you have this gorgeous, bubbling, thick gravy. Just let it keep going, about medium-high heat, until it's thickened like this. This is just a beautiful base for a sauce. And why is it called Potatoes Del Monaco? I don't know, <laughs> but it's a great name. And who doesn't need a perfect potato side dish on their holiday table? Okay, so to our beautiful cream sauce, we are gonna add two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, one tablespoon of chopped onion, and then I have two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put half in, because you're gonna save the other half and you're gonna sprinkle it on top of your casserole. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and stir this until it's all melted, which shouldn't take long at all. Okay, see? Now we have this beautiful orange cheese sauce. Now we're gonna add our potato cubes, and in they all go. And you're just gonna stir this just into, ah, maybe just a couple minutes, look at this. Oh my goodness, already they're getting coated. Look at this, no potato peeling. No anything, <laughs> just pull it out of your freezer and you're gonna have a 
fabulous potato dish. I'm gonna let this cook for about three minutes because you want the potatoes to cook through. So it's been about four minutes. And when you stir, you wanna stir gently. You don't wanna break up those beautiful cubes that you just took the time to cut. So take a look, here we go. Look at, oh God, how, <laughs> I'm so excited. This is just so good. And again, thank you, Mr. Clarence Birdseye for bringing us frozen food or else, I'm sure we would have had it at some point, but I'm glad we had it when we did. Okay, so now I am gonna bring in, you can use a nine by 13. This is about a nine by 13, except it's oval. So out of the way it goes and in comes my beautiful casserole, which by the way, belonged to my daddy. So it was, it's very, very special to me and it's greased. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our potato mixture and into the casserole it goes. See, this is why I love to give you easy, easy recipes here at Yester Kitchen because this way you can make like a whole dinner and you're just not stuck for days in the kitchen. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon, here's a cute little different add, of caraway seeds. It's just gonna add, I'll just sprinkle them. It's gonna add a perfect something. Just make sure they're not heavy in any particular area, except for where I just blew it there, <laughs> and that they're pretty well evenly distributed. Now we're gonna take that other half of the shredded cheese, and I'm using a medium cheddar. You can use whatever you like. But, you know, I actually am a fan of sharp cheddar, but with company, you know, I just wanna kinda go down the middle of the road so everyone's happy. And then a very, very 50s thing to do, we're gonna sprinkle it with some paprika for some beautiful color. That's it, my friends. This gorgeous thing is gonna go into our 450 oven for just five to 10 minutes. That's it, because remember, we already cooked our potatoes. So we're just getting the cheese in there and the potatoes all settled in the sauce and we will be right back. You wanna see something good? <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful, cheesy, potatoey, and so very easy. So let's take a look. Just, it's not gonna be solid because, you know, you don't have eggs in there, but it is holding up quite well. Um, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Cheese sauce and then cheese on top. Oh, does that get any better? I will give you one recipe note. I normally don't ever mess with my recipes because, you know, they're retro and I don't touch them. But if you are salt sensitive, you might wanna just go with maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt initially, then go ahead and make your sauce and add your potatoes and everything. And then right before you're about to put it in your casserole, give it a taste. If it needs a little more, add another little half teaspoon or a teaspoon, and if not, you're good. Okay, so this dish, it has holiday written all over it. So our Christmas series will continue. I have got a cocktail, of course, an appetizer, and I'm even gonna touch on breakfast because Christmas morning, right? And it's something a little different. If you would like to explore more dishes from your childhood or just the past, I invite you to subscribe. I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. In the meantime, there's some more retro dishes for you. And remember, every dish, even potatoes del Monaco. How easy was that? has a story. Well, Clarence Birdseye has the story. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.